Are you serious? Are you serious? So they're talking about the Malaysian plane. And uh, I just seen that now all, all airplane, helicopters, all ships, all military personnel, everybody that was involved in the searching for debris field uh, of the missing Malaysian Flight 370 plane, it's been called off. It's over. Take everybody off the water. We're done. From now on, the search is only going to be done underwater with submarines. Now, here's the thing I want to say about that. What they did was they convinced everyone that the plane landed in the ocean. They took all the uh, investigation, the media turned all the attention away from these pilots and the fact that the plane had probably, without a question, been hijacked. Everyone admitted it. Uh, and focused more on the plane going down somewhere in the uh, ocean, about a thousand miles off the coast of Australia. But they had delays because of one tropical storm, and then the delays because of another cyclone. And then the planes flew around, and the battleships came around, and the helicopters. And we had one uh, satellite photo that said they saw the plane under the water. That didn't work out. Then they had another, that was by the Chinese. Then the French said they saw two objects. That didn't work out. Then the Indonesians said they saw several objects. That didn't work out. And then, uh, more battleships, more aircraft, more helicopters, more satellite photos, and then another cyclone. And then we started finally to hear beeps. Beep. 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 Oh, and everybody got all excited. Now we think we know where it's at. We had about uh, seven to ten days of discussion of how long the battery is going to last. Folks, at the end of the day, there was not one shred of evidence that the Malaysian Flight 370 ever crashed in the ocean. And I'm going to tell you why. It didn't. There is no plane in the ocean. There's not one bit of shred of evidence. Somebody show it to me. Not one. i tell you what we do know. The pilots quit talking to the tower. Three different transponder systems were shut down manually on the plane while it was still in the air. We know the plane turned and changed directions in flight. We know the plane flew for seven and a half hours after shutting off all communication and avoiding all radar paths from everywhere in the world. We know that there were 20 employees of Free Scales Limited of Austin, Texas, who worked for one of the largest RFID microchip technology companies in the world. We know that some of those, uh, uh, all of those 20 engineers had intellectual property based on certain kinds of semiconductor uh, defense contract military technology, some of it nanotechnology, some of it bio nanotechnology. We know that every major nation in the world would love to have their hands on some of that secret cargo that was uh, that because apparently it's a game changer. Apparently whoever controls this technology is in a game. It's a game changer. So uh, today as I look at the situation it's a sad day because the world has decided to turn its back. Let's forget it. Let's move on to other stories. Let's talk about Hollywood. Let's talk about what's going on with the Desperate Housewives in Atlanta. Let's go talk about some of the other things that's going on that's more important because as far as the 239 souls are concerned on Malaysian Flight 370, it's over. They want you to believe it is in the bottom of the ocean and they don't want you to talk about it no more. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Pray for the families of these victims. Pray for... Uh, the, the hearts are broken. And while we pray for them, start praying for this horrific ferry that overturned in South Korea and 292 high school students are still under the sea. Pray for their families as well. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I'll be right back with more current world events. Now this is a proof to you that the new world order will do anything and everything to gain power over the people and to use propaganda and deception to spread their lies. But Satan is the father of lies. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. I'll be right back in just a moment.